Everyone has their own superpowers. There can be analysts who forecast what the future holds or help interpret the past via data visualizations similar to divinators. Then there are data scientists that can build queries, use math to find patterns, and turn raw numbers into insights like transmuters. Others can automate tasks using macros or follow DevOps processes like sorcerers do with magic spells. Some folks are also like wizards that can code programs from thin air. Because of this, I wish to share what tools you can use in G Suite to support all these different talents. Let's start with Analyst. You can copy someone's sheet with a macro that automatically creates pivot tables, renames your tabs, enters a formatted chart, and can be easily executed via a keyboard shortcut. You can also auto-generate reports and schedule them to be sent via email on a weekly basis using a Google Doc as a template or connecting your sheet to a free drag and drop dashboard builder called Data Studio. As for data scientists who need to clean data, they can leverage any of the 400 built-in functions to do things like import data, find duplicates, create randomized data for testing, translate phrases, and map locations in a Google spreadsheet onto Google Earth or Google Maps. One can also create custom functions that call on Google Cloud's AutoML to train custom machine learning models with minimal expertise, all from the comfort of a familiar spreadsheet interface. For those power users of Jupyter Notebooks, you can use Google Spreadsheets to similarly instruct it to pull data from one tab, perform a series of transformations on it, and store the results in a different tab. This is thanks to its script editor, its built-in functions, and the use of JavaScript, which is a very popular language used to make web apps. And with the Sheets Data Connector, you can pull very large data sets from BigQuery without having to do much SQL heavy lifting. Moving on to task automation, Creating custom UI components becomes especially impactful when sharing scripts with others, since anyone can copy your sheet and run its logic by choosing a drop-down option from a custom menu, or enter data via a custom sidebar, or warn users via a dialog box. Also, with the use of time-based triggers or user action-based triggers, such as submitting a form response, editing a Google Sheet, etc. You can further automate tasks on a frequent basis. As a bonus, if you are a G Suite admin, you can manage everything in your domain programmatically by using the directory API, such as monitoring third-party applications, taking actions on lost devices, and creating or editing user information. As for programmers, you can build an app that is synced with a spreadsheet via the REST API, the Google Drive API, for example, lets you create mobile, web, and desktop apps that read, write, and sync files in Google Drive, and can be connected to Google and non-Google services. You can also build connections to external databases via the JDBC connector. Furthermore, there are client libraries in a number of programming languages, and they support making calls that require user authorization. By using them, you can avoid the need to manually set up HTTP requests and parse the responses. And to help users reduce context switching, you can build add-ons that bring in additional functionality, such as syncing G Suite products with third-party vendors, and then publishing them on the G Suite marketplace to sell, or to only share with people in your own domain. Additionally, you can also reduce context switching by also building helpful chatbots that integrate an organization's app right into the Hangouts chat interface. This lets users get information from the app, take quick actions, and stay notified in a conversational and dynamic manner. Hope this summary gave you a better idea of the tools you can use to customize G Suite and maybe inspire you to use one based on your own superpowers. As a next step, allow me to recommend visiting the G Suite Solution Gallery and any of the documentation linked in this video's description. Cheers.